Hey guys, welcome. Today's video, I am going to be showing you my very first, kind of first Cricut project. Um, I wanted to make something for my craft room and I, I just got my Cricut. If you guys saw my last video, I unboxed it and I was very excited and definitely learning. Um, there's a lot to learn, I feel like, and I'm trying not to get too overwhelmed because I feel like I just want to know everything like now but I know there's so much to learn. So this is what I just made recently. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see with the light, but I craft so hard, I sweat glitter. I saw this little saying and I just had to have it. I just made this on a little piece of wood that my husband had out in the garage. I had made, if you guys saw one of my, my porch DIY video with the believe sign, it's the same wood as that. So he had a little bit left over. So I wanted to just make a little something uh, I'll show you guys at the end where I have it. I just wanted to make a cute little sign for the craft room. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I designed it on, well, I didn't design it, but I'll show you exactly how I found it on the Cricut design space. And then I'll show you how I use my Cricut to make it. So this is definitely a newbie video. If I am doing anything wrong per se, like maybe ma making it harder on myself, please let me know in the comments because I, I've been playing around with it a little bit. This isn't the very first thing I've made, but this is like the big, first big video craft that I've made, you know? Yeah, if I'm doing anything wrong or if you think anything would be helpful, please let me know. I will not be offended. I am here to learn. I've been watching a ton of videos and I feel like I've learned a lot from those videos, but um, I know that there's still a lot to learn. If you guys want to see how I made this cute sign, let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is just take some of my chalk paint and paint this little piece of wood white and I did do a couple coats and then let this dry for about 24 hours before I stuck any of the vinyl onto it. All right, so I'm gonna explain this the best as I can. I'm no expert, that's for sure. So you're just gonna go into the Cricut design space and right now I'm just opening up a shape and uh, the square and I'm gonna make it an eight by 10 because that is the size of my little piece of wood. And I wanna have a little template to work off of so I can see how big I need the font to be. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna go ahead and unlock the little square so that you're able to move it around and then I went up to the little numbers and made sure that it was eight by 10 and I did change it to white. Now I'm going into the images and I'm just typing in crafting and there's gonna be all these fun sayings. There were so many different ones, I could not really decide, but as soon as I saw the one about glitter, I was like, okay, I have to have that. So you're gonna go ahead and insert those images and I wasn't, I'm gonna keep them that those colors I mean not that it really matters but so what I did was I ungrouped them all so that I would be able to move them around and those two were still connected so what you have to do to, to slice those is open up another shape and you're gonna cover the eye craft with the entire shape and I went ahead and brought that to the back so I could see that part and you're gonna highlight both parts and then go down to slice and that way it kind of makes like, I don't exactly know what it does, but it does that. And so I just went ahead and deleted those two parts and then I have the pink eye craft. So the reason I'm doing this is so that I can put them in the color that I want them to be. I wanted all three of those to be gold and then the glitter is gonna be in the pink glitter. So right now I'm just kind of going through and making them a little bit bigger. So I'm just going through and adjusting those sizes and then um, kind of lining them up where I want them to be. And then afterwards you can go in and align them like with the actual computer so it's even more straight. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But right now I am just changing the colors just to get an eye, you know, just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So I'm doing the glitter in that pink and then I'm going to highlight the other ones. And there's not really a gold color. It was kind of like a mustardy color, but that's okay. I was just trying to kind of get an idea. So once you get all of those um, colors changed and figured out, and another reason you do the, um, the colors is because then it'll separate it onto the mats. So that is so cool. Whatever color, like if you have all 
the same color, it'll put all of those on one mat and then it'll change like for the other colors. So I just thought that was so cool. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all three of those and then go up to a line and do the center horizontally. And then it just kind of puts everything in the middle. And then you can actually take that white template and remove it because you're not gonna use that. You don't need to print that off or anything because it's going on the wood. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight everything and group it all together. And then when you go up to make, this is what it kind of does. It puts all of the light colors and it's fine. Like these do not need to be in any kind of order. I'm just gonna kind of move them around how I want so that I have like enough space and it totally doesn't matter because you're gonna put them onto the wood. So once you have those all in place where you want, you go ahead and hit continue and then it's gonna show the first mat that you're gonna cut. You're gonna pick your material and this is a foil, like an uh, adhesive foil. So you're gonna go ahead and pick what material it is and then hit done. And then you're just going to need to use the fine point, which is already in there. And so then you're going to go to the machine and do the rest of the work. So this is the foil that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to put the whole sheet on there. And then because I didn't know how big I needed it to be and I just didn't want to run out of material. So I'm going to go ahead and put the whole thing on the mat. And then I'll show you guys later how I cut it off and trim it. And I am going to take my little scraper and kind of flatten it down and make sure it's on the mat really, really good. And then you're just going to take it over to the machine and let it do its thing. So you're going to want to go ahead and hit the load, like the arrows, and that is going to load it. And then it kind of waits a second. It connects with the computer and then the little C starts flashing. And then that's when you hit the C and then it does its cut. Now it's automatically going to go to the second mat and this is the pink one. So you're just going to want to go ahead and get all of your materials ready and on the mat and then do the same little process. And for this material, I am using something different. So you're going to want to go up and change it. So where it says adhesive foil, you're going to click on that and then actually change it to this is um, a glitter iron on, I want to say. Yeah. So I just typed in iron and then all of them are gonna come up and then just click on the glitter one. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. Um, I don't know if I do it right, but I've worked, I've done a couple little emblem or logos for my husband's company and I've used this stuff and this is just kind of, how, kind of how I did it. So what I do is I peel off the glitter from the transfer part. So this is an iron-on, so it comes with the transfer. So I'm gonna cut this to the size that I need it and I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off and then stick the actual glitter part onto the mat. Because I tried this a couple different ways and it was just, I was having a really hard time cutting it and it wasn't wanting to stay on the mat because the transfer sheet was so thick. So I've just found that this is the easiest way. Go ahead and save that top piece because that is gonna be your foil or your iron-on transfer piece. So. Just go ahead and stick that right on there and then you're gonna go back to the machine and hit the arrow button and then that, the Cricut button and it will do its thing. And now when I'm, you're just gonna go ahead and peel that top part off and it was kind of like it didn't cut all the way through. I probably should have done a little bit more pressure on this one. Um, so I'm just kind of sticking everything back onto the mat and once you get all of that peeled off, then you're gonna take that other, the transfer sheet Put that on there and I took my um, little scraper thing again and um, it didn't completely come off when I went to peel off the transfer but since it was only like this word it was all pretty much stuck together so it came off pretty easily. If you guys have an easier way to do this please let me know. So now I'm going to take the gold one and I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So I'm taking my box cutter, my X-Acto knife, and I'm doing it very, very gently because I don't want to cut it into the mat. And I'm just kind of cutting around the words so that I'm not wasting all of this extra foil. So go ahead and gently cut it so you don't wreck your mat. And then you can go ahead and start weeding the letters on the mat.
Now I'm actually taking some Dollar Tree packing tape and this is how I do the transfer. I made the mistake of buying the Cricut brand transfer tape and it is so strong. So I made another little wood piece the other day and I kind of learned on that one and I found that the transfer or the packing tape from Dollar Tree worked much better to transfer it onto the wood. So I was having a little bit of a hard time getting it off of the back of the foil but once I got it on the wood, it peeled off like a dream. So I would rather do it like this than like use the other stuff that's way too strong and have it pull up and wreck my wood. All right, now that I have all of the gold stuff done, I'm gonna go ahead and do that glitter piece and I'm just getting it to where I want it and then you're gonna go ahead and stick it on and then I'm just taking my regular iron and I'm just gonna add a little bit of heat to it. I wasn't sure like how much to do because this was wood, um, but I just did a little bit back and forth and this worked so well. I did end up realizing after I peeled it off that I uh, lost an eye in the process, the eye for the glitter. So I did have to go back to my sheet and peel that out and then attach that. Now for just a little finishing touch, I'm taking some gold acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint the edges of the wood. Not that you're really going to be able to see it because I have it up kind of high, but I just thought this was a cute little added touch and it just kind of made it look a little more finished. So that is it. Once you get done with the paint, you are finished with the project. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and we will see you all next time. Bye.